Uh, the UFC back on Saturday, UFC Long Island afternoon MMA. Actually, well, it starts off in the morning. Uh, prelims start 11 a.m. Eastern time, 10 a.m. there uh, in the Rio Grande Valley for te- for Daniel Maincar. 2 p.m. East time headline by Brian Ortega and Yair Rodriguez. And uh, one thing I was, uh, I'm surprised how many sharp minds I've taken in over the past couple of days. I think this is a Yair Rodriguez fight. So what are you thinking? I, I mean, I thought Ortega, I mean, obviously, you know, this is the first fight for Ortega since that loss against Volkanovski. I thought we saw, we've seen the changes you know, that he's made in that Max Holloway fight. I mean, look, you know, the one thing is if, if you're Yair Rodriguez, you got to keep this fight on the feet, man. You can't let this thing get to the ground. I think the only positive side for the Yair side in this equation is the fact of, you don't think of Brian Ortega as a guy that's a you know a great you know single leg or, or, or double leg takedown artist here. I think this probably the fight's going to go five five rounds, but I think Ortega takes a decision. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you, which means congratulations to Ayer Rodriguez. You know he's, he's a slight slight dog here, but usually I mean you are green and you have a lot of sharps picking another guy. We're probably wrong. It was it's odd to me that Yair Rodriguez came out and said that he has been told with a win, he's getting the next title matchup, which is just odd to me. He's two and two in his last four fights. Josh Emmett's on this great run. I mean, obviously a winner of Brian Ortega is, you know, is better than what, you know, the, the run that Josh Emmett's been on, but I'm sitting there going like, if I'm Josh Emmett, like what did this guy do to the UFC? They clearly hate this guy for some reason. I know they do hate him. And, uh, Look, in terms of why, I mean, I think, I think the UFC clearly favors Jair over Josh Emmett. Um, he's Mexican, more credible in that aspect. They, they, I mean, he's he's been put in a lot of he's main evented a lot of shows. Yeah, I mean, look at how many fight nights he's main evented. That kind of tells you the UFC thinks highly of him. So yeah. he's in a different class than Emmett in that aspect in terms of the UFC loving him. And then, yes, yeah, so a win over Ortega is better than anything Emmett's done. It almost made me wonder, is the UFC planning a show in Mexico City and they want Yair to be headlining it? Man, I mean, they could, but that would be screwed up to the chance. Like, that would be screwed up to Volkanovski to have uh, your challenger fight his hometown. I don't disagree with you, but I like, mean, that's an, that's an unwritten rule. Like and, and, that's messed up. And Volkanovsky's having, I want to say his thumb surgery. And so he's going to be out eight to 12 weeks. So if he's out eight to 12 weeks, then you're putting our six, eight week camp. I mean, it's going to be a, a long time. For Steve Volkanovsky. You know, I just thought it was an odd for him to come out. It, or, I mean, obviously we're, we're expecting that. Of course, the UFC always could be lying to you. I mean, it, I wouldn't put it past him. Well, it's either, it's either a year or Emmett. Oh, totally, totally, yeah. I mean, and, and both these guys currently are tied at number three in the rankings, and yeah, I, you know, I almost feel like do you maybe see the winner of this matchup take on Josh Emmett, and then that ultimately determines the number one contender based on based it. on time frame. Yeah, I think um, I think that's possible. The only thing is, yeah, uh, Rodriguez doesn't really fight that often. <laughs> I mean, this dude fights like once a year, but uh, I, I think that would. The, but that would be the most fair thing for Josh Emmett because if Josh Emmett doesn't get the next fight, he might get screwed out of the, ne- the one afterwards, right? Yeah. Like then that gives more time for other fighters to do things. But if he doesn't get the next fight, he's going to be forced to take another fight. Yeah. And for Josh Emmett, it's like who does he fight next, right? Like let's say Yair beats Ortega. Does Emmett fight Max Holloway? Why would Max Holloway take that fight? I, if I'm Max Holloway, I wouldn't take a Josh Emmett fight. I would take a much more interesting fight. 